Hey everybody, my name is Noah King. I'm a senior engineer here at Horizon 3 AI. I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick walkthrough of the new fishing impact test. Over here on my screen, you'll see I have on the left side a fictitious fishing login page. Uh, let's just imagine it's for any company or any fishing template that you were to configure with a phishing tool. On the right, we have the Node Zero portal, and I've already gone through a lot of the steps to set up a pen test run a Docker container in the network. And now I have a phishing JavaScript snippet that I'll go ahead and copy. And then I'll take this and I'll paste this into the actual phishing HTML. I like to paste it down below. So you can just paste it at the very bottom. You can run validation to make sure that that script works locally, that everything is set up before you start your phishing campaign and phishing users. From there, let's swap pages and let's look at a running pen test. So we have node zero over here on the right running. And from here, we can see that there's different enumeration taking place. There are different notable events. And we've already had a few users already be fished. Uh, additionally, if you look over at the credentials, you can start to notice that these credentials were fished. Ethan, Ava, Snehal, Nemo, and more. Now over here on the left side, let's imagine that another user gets uh, fished. So I'll go ahead and I'll type in Michael at encryptologic.com. And so once Michael gets fished, he enters his password. He's prompted with an incorrect login credentials. Enter your sign in info again. Maybe he thinks he typed his password in wrong. Tries another variation. Tries to add a different username variation and just keep submitting it until he realizes that it leads to nothing. So from there, the, the user doesn't, isn't able to log in and then they abandon the page, but we've captured their credentials. So at this point, the credentials are being relayed to node zero. Node zero is spraying those credentials all throughout the network. And you'll also see those credentials flow in through the real time view of any users that get fished. Uh, that makes it for really interesting just to watch as the pen test runs, you are able to monitor that. Additionally, uh, if we go back to the finished page of pen test, we can take a look at a prior pen test just to see the results. Node Zero includes a lot of different graphics and visualizations such as uh, the user chart showing you how many users versus credentials were actually validated in the network. We can also start to correlate that Sarah and sales, her fish credential led to 11 domain users being compromised. Noah led to a lot more downstream impact. Ethan led to a little bit more, a lot of host compromise. And Ava led to a lot of things as well. So you can start to click through that and see different ways that credentials uh, lead to different impacts downstream. We also provide a overview of your phishing you know, baseline risk and uh, compare that to your, the weaknesses in the network as well. So you're able to see all those things. Additionally, if we scroll down, there's, there's plenty of information, but you also get a summary on the phish credentials, which ones had the most access to different assets, um, most attack paths that it was involved in. So there's a lot of the different data that you can drill into and look at. Finally, Let's just imagine that we're looking at some of the impacts in the portal and we want to filter by all the fish credentials that led to impacts within the network. Then from there, we might say, let me see all the domain compromise that happened. Uh, and from domain compromise, we had all these different weaknesses. Uh, we can also see the fish credentials that were involved. It looks like Eva led to a lot of different fish credentials. From here, you can start to drill into the impact you can see the attack graph, a narrative, and get a lot more information about the actual attack and what took place with the fish credential. From there, you can additionally filter on weaknesses that involve fish credentials as well. So all of these fish credentials were used for these weaknesses. So we were able to exploit print spooler and a lot of other different uh, types of weaknesses with these credentials. And from there, you can drill into the proof and you can start to look at to where these credentials led. 